All right, so we are officially recording now. And uh, this is the Tuesday night training with the Builder All Diva. And as you can tell, I've got a little bit of a, a sore throat going on. Crazy, I've been crazy sick. And um, today's the first day that I've actually been like up out of bed doing stuff. So um, I'm kind of excited to be up and moving around. This is definitely not the right time of year to be sick. But um, uh, hopefully I'm on the tail end of it. That's what I tell everybody. I'm on the tail end of it. It's almost gone. And uh, we'll go ahead and jump in today and see if we can get some training in. Now, what I wanted to focus on tonight is actually the site bot and uh, teach you guys some cool stuff that you can do with the site bot. Have any, any of you guys used this yet? This is so neat. This is what you can do instead of the Facebook uh, messenger chat bot so instead of putting it on Facebook and having to get approvals and stuff like that you could just put this directly on your website and you don't need Facebook at all so it's really easy to do really really actually fun to do and uh, super super simple setup and we're gonna walk through how we can do that so I'm gonna go ahead before I get started do you guys have any questions or comments did you see the um, the uh, graphics that I added for you guys in the affiliate area so you can use some of those graphics to uh, advertise builder off those are just little ad things that you can use anywhere you want to Dominic no I was just gonna say yes we love them I'm already I already put them on my desktop and my wife's getting ready to use them so thank hey. you very much you're welcome early, very early much. Christmas for us thank you yep that was my <laughs> Christmas present to you guys I got nothing else for you sorry <laughs> Now I've played around with the with the site bot that uh, was silly was showing, but I haven't had a chance to actually. Uh, I'm I'm excited. Yeah, this that's is definitely really, something I want to put on, like you know, my bridge page or something. Right. This is really cool stuff, and it is like a, a watered down version of the the Facebook chat bot, but you don't have to rely on Facebook to do anything. It's just strictly on your site, and I absolutely love it. And, and I'm going to show you guys how to jump into it today. So let me go ahead and start sharing my screen. And uh, we'll take a look at it. So share my screen. And I'll go into my office. And I'll move you guys down to the bottom here. And, uh, and I'm just going to go into apps. And then I'm going to go into um, chat bot. I'm going to go into the site bot. So um, let me see if I can find it. There it is right there. So right here where it says Facebook chatbot, we're not going into that one. We're going into Sitebot. So I'm going to click that. And it's going to open up for me. And it's going to um, show me either to create a new flow or I can see a list of my flows. And if I look at my list of flows, you can see that I've done three in this account, which is just a test flow, build raw training center flow, and then a Team Awesome flow, which is a, a flow that I use for my Team Awesome website. And if I go in and edit this, oh, sorry, not edit, but um, go into, uh, oh, I just click it. <laughs> so all I have to do is click Team Awesome site. And when I click it, it actually opens it up so I can start working inside of that site bot and start editing. And you can see that I've got um, several things that I've built in it so far. It's just a pretty um, generic type uh, uh, site bot or chat bot, real simple. And I can do a lot of things, but the best thing I like about this is I can do a preview. So I can click preview and it will give me an idea of what my site bot is looking like. So the first part, it has my little uh, logo right here for the Builder All Diva. And it says, hello, I'm Shelly Builder All Diva Turner. And I want to welcome you to Team Awesome. Click the button below to get started. So they click start here. And then it says, what would you like to do? And then it gives a whole series of things that they can uh, do to get started. So they can click any one of these. Let's say they want to learn how to get traffic. So they click that and it comes up with a link that they can click and they can click access organic and paid traffic methods. When they click that, it takes them outside to an area where they can access um, training on getting uh, organic and paid traffic. So you can see that it's a, a really neat thing to do. The only thing that we, we have not done yet 
is uh, there's not a good way to, once you pick something, to get it to go back up and, uh, and redo. So it kind of ends and, uh, and you can't go back. So they have to um, refresh the page to be able to see what's going on. So you see how when I pick something, it just ended. So I'm going to show you some different things you can do to kind of send it back. So I'm going to go back and then preview again. So if I do start here, and then I have my menu come up, we can do like, um, I don't know, get bonuses. <coughs> oh, this is a neat one where I can have them enter their email address to get their bonuses. And this goes straight into uh, Mailing Boss. And I use that to get their uh, bonuses to them for their uh, Team Awesome membership. So um, there, there are lots of things you can do. But as you can see, I picked one. And they'll put their email address in. So let me put um, general at general.com. And when I put that in, it says, be sure to check your email to confirm and receive your bonuses. And then after that one, I can go back to the main menu. So I can click main menu and it will take me back up and list that main menu for me again. So um, I don't think I've set that up to do that yet, but um, it's actually supposed to take me back to that main menu that we saw in the very beginning. So there, there's ways to get back to that main menu and start again, but there's other ways that when you choose a selection, it stops. So in that case, uh, we've got that in information to the developers, and they're working on a way that we can continue flows on uh, so that it doesn't end in a, a dead end so that the user can't do anything else. But let's go ahead and, and go back into our flows. And you can see that there's the welcome message right there. And then each of these are linked to another box. So you can see the flows and how they're supposed to happen. And then you can see like this training goes to a link. And this main menu, when you click it, it should take you all the way back up to the main menu here. So each block is kind of um, connected this way. So let's talk about how we can do that. So I'm going to go back to um, the flows. And I'm going to create a new flow. So I'm just going to add a new flow. We're just going to call this Tuesday training. I'm going to click add. So it's added my Tuesday night training. And I'm just going to click right on it to go ahead and start editing. And it sets up already with a hello message. And these are all the things that I can do inside of this site bot. So I can set up a text message. I can set up buttons. I can set up a text answer. I can set up to do a date and time. I can set up a number, an email. So I can collect an email, collect a phone number. And I can also put in a delay. So if I am typing out something long, it's a lot of information. I can put a one or two second delay and then have the next bit of information show on the screen. That one's actually really important because if you have a lot of text information, um, it'll keep scrolling and scrolling and scrolling on the screen and it will scroll so fast that the user won't be able to read it. So that delay is actually really important. And then you can actually sort the steps here. So let's first look at a text message. So I'm just gonna click on that to add a text message. And in here, it says I can add an image at the beginning of the text. And, uh, and I can add an image from the computer or from a URL. So I'll click from a computer. And then I'm going to click to choose my file. And I'll go into my graphics area and I'll see if I can find a good graphic. There's a good one right there. And uh, oh, let's do the mountaintop one. There we go. So we've got a mountaintop one right there. And, and I'm going to say welcome to the mountaintop. There we go. And, uh, and then it says add an image at the end of the text. So I can actually add an image at the end of the text too. I won't do that. But um, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually um, put this one here 
And I'm going to sort the steps. And let's see if we can find the steps. So there's question with the button. And uh, let's see. And there's my high. Let's see if I can find those. <laughs> Scroll on the canvas to change the scale. And I lost my stuff. Let me see if I can preview. So hello. Hi. That's all we get. So I'm going to go back to the flow. And I didn't save my text message. So we'll go back and create another one. So I'm going to click for my computer and find that image again. And I'll put welcome to the mountain top. And There we go. And we'll just um, hook this up so that this one goes to this one. So it'll, it'll say hello, message, it'll say hi, and then I'll say welcome to the mountaintop. And maybe I don't want that hi message there. Maybe I don't want it. So I'm going to find where my hello message is. So there's hello, and it says hi, and I'm going to delete it. If I click delete, it says there's an error. And there's an error because these two boxes are linked together. So I'm going to hover over and remove that link. And now I should be able to delete the box. And it says, no, you can't delete it. Sorry. So I'll delete that part and then delete that. And it still gives me an error. So we'll delete that. It's an error. And. Oh, now we have two. So welcome to the mountaintop flow message. And error. <laughs> so we'll just stick with this. We'll stick with hello message. <laughs> and let me try it one more time. Error. It's not going to let it go. So um, let me see if I can take this out. Add an image. Error. Add a button. Error. All right, so let's see what it's doing on our preview. So I'll scroll up and preview it. And it says, hello message, and now we don't get anything. So I'm gonna go back to the flow. <laughs> and we'll see if we can um, get rid of that hello message. No, it doesn't want to get rid of that hello message for some reason. It's really weird. So we'll just add an image from here, right? So we'll just go from computer and click and we'll choose there and open. And we'll say, welcome to the mountain top. Here we go. And, uh, That'll be the first one. And this one we can delete. We'll delete that one. And this one we can delete. And this one we can delete. It doesn't want to. And this one we can delete. And it doesn't want to. So let's see what we got when we preview. Welcome to the mountaintop. Oh my gosh, but we don't have a picture, do we? So we'll put this one here. And we'll do this one and from computer. Apparently doesn't want you to delete that first one. So we'll delete this one. There we go. See so if we can delete this one now. Error. No. It's really weird. So what I'm going to do, this is obviously having major issues. So we're just going to jump out of this one. And we're going to create a new flow because we can.
So we're going to create new flow. And then we'll call this Tuesday Night Training 2. And add. There we go. So we'll click that one. And now let's just start with this one. This is the first one. We will click from a computer, click an image, and Shazam, we have an image. And now let's say, welcome to the mountain top. Exclamation. And then down here, we'll say, um, we are glad you are here. Or, or no, how about um, start here? Fabulous. So now we've got um, welcome to the mountaintop and start here. So that's just a regular um, a question with the button. So that would be um, right here is how we start, question with the button. So now let's add a text message. So this is a text message here. And I can add an image. I can add text. And I could say, uh, do you want to go to Google? And, uh, and I can add an image, or I can add um, an image from the computer or the URL. Um, I'm not going to add an image. I'll add some buttons. And in the button, I can add an image. And for the button, I can add yes. Or I can add a button that says no. And if they say yes, I'm going to send them to the link. And that is the uh, HTTP. So we'll send them if they say yes to Google. If they say no, we'll send them to a step. And, uh, and then we got to put the link to the step. So there we go, right there. HTTP going for slash for slash there we go google.com and the link text would be um, go to Google. All right, so now we're going to start linking. So I'm going to link this to, and I got to find this little circle. There, right there and link it <laughs> and I'm having all kinds of trouble today it just doesn't want to link <laughs> there we go come on link let's see this one do you want to go to Google well I guess we're going to take that one out and we'll go here there we go that one will let me do it. So, do you want to go to Google? And we'll just delete that one. And it says no, so we'll just hide it right there. All right, so I'm going to go up and we're going to test what we have so far. So, preview. And start here. Uh huh. And so now I've got, do you want to go to Google? If I click yes, it will take me to Google. But it will, it will give me a link that lets me go to Google. And then I'll still be able to come back here. But I want you to notice that it ends right there, that I don't have another place for that to go once it's done. Um, Dominic, I think you were trying to say something. Yeah, I was just letting you know uh, uh, King George is uh, looking to get upgraded. Oh, okay. Yeah. Let me jump in. I'm gonna stop sharing. I was, I was oh, we have a lot here. <laughs> hey, you guys. I have been just ignoring you. <laughs> here we go, and there we go. All right, so everybody should be everybody should be in here now. All right, so let me share again. Now we're having some cantankerous um, uh, stuff going on with the site bot for sure but let me go back to the flow and I'm gonna just talk to you about all the different types of flows but as you can see the way to link them is to actually click and drag to highlight and pull over and that's how we get our um, our stuff to link 
Uh, I'm not sure what's going on with some of these that are not working. They're giving me errors when I try to delete and they're not linked to anything. So um, just not real sure what's going on, but um, we'll just hide those oh, way over here so we don't use them at all. But the first one is a text message. That's like this one right here. Um, actually don't use a whole lot of text messages. The next one is buttons, which is this one right here. The cool thing about the buttons, you guys, is that you can make as many buttons as you want. You can just keep going down with buttons. So that's pretty cool. Um, the next one is text answer. So if you click that one, this allows you to put in some text and then they input an answer for you and you get to collect that data and it's called uh, input underscore one. So um, that's a pretty cool thing that you can collect some data. And then for the date and time, you can uh, input some text and then collect the, the date and time and or date. And then the next one is time. And that would be good if you were wanting to set up like a uh, appointment or something like that. A number, so if you want them to add a number, put in a number, uh, they could, uh, put in a, a number for you and there's a minimum and a maximum so you can say uh, give me a number between 0 and 100 and uh, and they can put in a number and then you can also do a condition so if the number is within such and such a range then send them to this stuff so if they do you, how much money do you want to make do you want to make ten dollars hundred dollars a thousand dollars let them put the answer in and then based on their answer you can send them to a specific page or to a specific video or something like that. Um, email is great. That allows you to put in some text to collect their email. And then you can actually um, set it up so that it has a mailing boss integration. So it goes straight into mailing boss. And then you can give them a message. Don't forget to confirm your email. Um, they can put their phone number in so that you can collect that phone number and uh, add it into WhatsApp so that you can collect that information. Uh, the delay is, like I said, um, if you have a bunch of text that you're giving out in your site bot and you want to delay the print out of that text so the user has enough time to see the text, then you can add the delay. And then um, sort steps. Uh, when you click that, there's supposed to be a way that you can sort all of your steps, but I'm not seeing that right now. Um, and so not real sure what that is, but um, let me go to preview and then back to flow and there's our flow again. So let me try one more time to delete this really weird one right here and it's an error. And then this new one I just added with that one, it's an error. So we're getting errors on deleting stuff. So I'm going to get that to the developers and see if they can figure out why they're getting errors. It might be because they're empty, but I'm not sure. But uh, anyway, those are all the different types of uh, items that you can use, and you can start collecting information. And there, it's actually, when it's not being glitchy, this works really, really well. And let me see if I can find my um, website. I'll actually show you. Uh, that it that it is working. So if I go to Cheetah and we'll open up Cheetah and we'll take a look at my Team Awesome website. We'll go there. And down at the bottom, I have a little chatbot symbol. If you click that, it opens the uh, chatbot and it gives you the message and then you click start here. And it says, what would you like to do? And it gives you all the different choices and uh, access funnels. And it doesn't have anything after that because I haven't put anything after that. But uh, once you get that going and you're done using it, you just close it and you're back to your web page. So all I did to actually uh, set that up is I put a little uh, chat bot image right there <clears throat> and then did a, uh, a, a link. Let me show you how I did it. We'll go to Team Awesome to edit the site and edit the page. And it's just a um, image. And on the image, I did a. What did I do? <laughs> if 
I can move you guys down here. Let me see if it was general settings. Yeah, uh, nope, not general settings. I did a the advanced, no. Product configuration, no. Um, let's see. Oh, a link right here. So I clicked on the link. And on the link, I chose um, site bot. And that was it. I did a, a pop up. Oh, I did a pop up. That's how I did it. So I linked it to, I linked that image to a pop up. And I built a pop up called site bot. So on my website, um, if I go to edit pop up, look at my pop ups. I've got a site bot pop up. When I click edit, there's my pop up. And I put this in an iframe using the embed code that I got from the SiteBot Builder. So all I did was go into the SiteBot Builder and get the embed code. So there's my iframe code right there. So that's all I did was create a iframe in a pop-up and then put an image of a little chat, uh, the chat symbol and um, added the pop-up to the chat symbol, and that pops up the um, chat bot. So <coughs> that was a really fast, down and dirty, oh my God, messy, messy way to show the chat, the site bot. But do you guys have any questions about the site bot? <laughs> hey, Shelly. Uh -huh. um, yeah, I got a question. So is the site bot sophisticated enough to where we could like prompt them to do like a live chat or maybe like a WhatsApp, like send them to like, Hey, would you like to speak to somebody live? Is there any way to do that? And second question is people are asking, and I think I know the answer to this. Is this going on your digital marketing um, master training on YouTube? And then in the seven day digital marketing on Facebook, Yes. Okay. So that's the right link I gave you guys, and I'll give you the link to the Facebook. <laughs> yep, yep. Yeah. Um, so if you want to send them to a live chat, you can actually send them straight to your messenger. So if you want to send them to your Facebook messenger, all you need, all you need is your me, uh, M dot me link. So in Facebook messenger, you can get an M dot me link that takes them straight to messenger. And that's just a URL. So you just have a button that says, do you want to talk to me immediately live through mess Facebook Messenger or live chat or however you want to say it. And then put that URL of the m.me link. And that would take them directly to the Facebook Messenger where you can chat with them there if you want to. So that's, that's one way you can do it for sure. Oh, that would be super powerful. I'm mm -hmm. thinking, yeah, that's great. You know, because I think people kind of get a little tired of talking with a bot, but if we put in that, you know, uh, you know, that option, hey, talk to somebody live, you know, that would be great. You know, right. get them started on the chat bot, you know, kind of filter out, you know, that way I'm not always being bothered on Messenger unless they're serious. Right. That would be great. I love this because you don't have to go through Facebook. There's just a couple of little things that they're that they're working on, which one of them is that um, there's too many ways to make it terminal, and you want to make it so that they can loop back up to that main menu and start again to go a different way. So they're working on that. I think that's the next thing that they're going to be bringing out. But um, you can still use it as a way for them to get information and put it right on your website. And um, and I've got mine on Cheetah, so it works on Cheetah. Okay. Any other questions about the site bot? I know that was a really bad demo, but there's some strange stuff going on. I think they are actually working on it because I messaged them just the other day and was messaging about a couple of issues, and they're probably working on fixing them now. Shelly? Uh-huh. Earlier, I'm just reiterating what you said earlier. We do not have to get this, uh, uh, I, I call it certified like we have with Facebook, like we have to do that uh, chat bot. That's correct. You do not have to get it uh, approved by Facebook in any kind of way. It never hits Facebook. Okay. <coughs> mm -hmm. 
And uh, as, Dom, as Dominic mentioned earlier, mentioned that we want to, we can connect our um, messenger to it so that we can, they can talk to us live. Yep. Yeah, you can you can uh, send them to your Facebook profile and have them friend you. You can send them to your YouTube channel to subscribe. You can send them to your m.me link to talk to you directly on your messenger, um, which would be live chat. Uh, so there's a lot of different things that you can do. The biggest thing is that once you send them, that terminals the, um, the site bot to where they can't go back up and do something. That's the only thing that I don't like about it right now is that um, you, have to, you have to have a way to get them back up. So to be a really robust chat bot, it's got to be a way to resend them up to the top so they can go through the flow and try something different. Um, so that's coming. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. So this just basic stuff, like for my new people, when they go to this um, new Cheetah uh, team website, they'll be able to find what they need. And when they open it again, they'll find what they need again. So I think it's going to work for them fine in the beginning. But uh, eventually we want something a little bit more robust for them to go back to the beginning and be able to go through everything. So, um, so there's still a little bit of work to do on the site bot, but I think it's still usable for just basic, basic uh, chat bot. Any other questions about it? No? No, didn't have questions about the chat bot, just questions about other things that I spoke to. Alrighty, I think uh, Tyree, you had a question about the blog. So I'm going to share my screen again and I'm going to jump in to one of my sites that has the blog. So I'm going to go to apps and then pixel perfect. And sorry about my grandbabies are playing in the background. <laughs> they're making it's good to hear them playing, Shelly. That means they're normal. They are normal. They're very normal. Good. And they <laughs> haven't gotten sick yet. They have, well, they're coughing, but they're not really, um, they're not really you know, running fever and bad sick, and they're not telling me that they have like a sore throat or something like that. So, so that's really good. No fever. That's, good. that's really good. Because I double whammy them with strep and flu, which is crazy. All right. Oh. So I'm, in, I'm in the Build Raw Training Center, and I'm going to go into the blog, and, and I think that's this one right here. And there's my blog pages right there. And the news page, I think is, that's the individual one. There's the page that you're probably uh, looking at right there. And, uh, and you want to know how to, how to put this picture on, is that right? Well, actually, what I was having a problem with, like, on, on uh, the article, when I was adding a picture to the article, mm -hmm. I was trying to SEO the picture. And it wouldn't, it wouldn't do it. I put the alt attribute and everything back there, you know, on the picture. But then when I, when I post the picture and, and things like that, mm -hmm. uh, the video showed up, the blog showed up, but the pictures not, didn't show up on, on, uh, on the internet. Oh, that's weird. So let's go to blog manager. And we'll go into just this one right here, I guess. We'll edit. See if I have any pictures in there. So I've got a video, and there's a picture. So I'm going to right-click the picture and go to Image Properties. And right there is where I can edit the uh, image title and the alt title. Did you try that? Yes, I did. Um, I um, put the image title, you know, the title, whatever the blog was on both of those. You know, like with the keyword, I put the image title right there. And then I also put the keyword where it said blog alt blog image alt that didn't work so I came back and where it said blog image title I just put the whole blog link right then that didn't work either hmm. well that may be um, a situation where you need to talk to support and because this one will take it let me go to image properties and I mean let me go to the first image so I think this is the first image right here go to image properties and Shelly's title and Shelly's alt title and 
Like if those were your keywords, that's what you would put there. And I did that. And it said, find me. And I couldn't. And everything right, so else I'll publish the it. came up fine. So I clicked publish. Mm -hmm. And I'm doing a chat box. So I'm going to click save. And then save and publish. Because save is our friend. Yep, save is definitely our friend. Right now, go back here and we'll go to the live. And we'll go to um, feed page. I think that's what it's called. So I'll load it up. And there's chat box. So we'll click that one. And let's see if we can find our first image. And there it is, Shelly's title. So mm -hmm. could it could it be that maybe you um, you didn't save you didn't publish that you didn't republish it on I, the I blog? Thought, I, I thought I did all of that, but I'll go back and check it again. Let me, let me show you again. Let me show you again exactly what I mean by republish. Mm -hmm. So when I go to blog manager mm -hmm. and then I go to chat box and edit. Make sure that whatever change you've made, you publish again right here. Okay. That may be the one that you missed. Okay. So publish well, there and then save and then check it. Okay. Okay. Well, I'll, I'll do that tonight because when I index the blog, everything came up when I put the keyword in except mm -hmm. for the image. When yeah. I clicked on the image, that wouldn't come up. And by the way, what you had told me to do to get them to um, get my blog, my, my, my domain name verified. We told me to contact support. Mm -hmm. They took care of but uh, they had to down, they had to put the file in for me and yeah. it worked. So uh, Google has a new way. They, they got a whole new webmaster console and it's, it's, yeah. it's a book. <laughs> yeah, it is. Cause I have to use it when I do Google play. Um, to publish uh, apps to Google Play, and it's it's a big console. Yeah. Oh, and the app training. Uh, when you uh, when you check the message I send you, I I put a request from a link from you, one that you have, Mobavi. But I also wanted to get that app training that you had done at the time. You said okay. you had one that can be used. Yeah. Because that uh, that app training you did, Shelly, was like. <laughs> <laughs> Bomb diggity. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, you guys, do you have any more questions for me? Shelly's got a whole library of training. I asked her on Messenger one day, I'm like, hey, uh, how do you do blah, blah, blah? Boom, within a second, she had a, she had a link to a video. Yeah, I have a lot of videos. I have a lot, I have a whole lot of videos. <laughs> And more like a website, Shelly's Library. <laughs> <laughs> the, the problem is that I can find them because I know what I've done, but nobody else can find them, <laughs> right? So, because we don't have a really good way of, of searching. So, that's what we're working on right now is putting a knowledge base together that's searchable, and we'll have videos on there. So, um, you guys will be able to search and find things. Now, that's a big mamma jamma job to do. So um, it's definitely not going to be ready in a day or a week or even a month. But we're hoping by January we can start rolling out, well, end of January, we can start rolling out the knowledge base so you guys can have um, a good resource to be able to search for things before you go to support. So that's really exciting. Okay, now is this, is this Eric time? Does that mean actually the end of April or? No, this is Shelly time. <laughs> oh, Shelly time. Oh, okay. <laughs> although, my, although my team is not happy with me because I promised them a lot of stuff like last month. What, no, the month before, October, I promised them some stuff and I still have not delivered. So I'm a little ashamed of myself because I'm, I'm one of those that likes to under promise and over deliver. And I have definitely, with Team Awesome, overpromised and under-delivered, for sure. But um, they have forgiven me because I, I am delivering. It's just not delivering everything that I wanted to deliver. One of the things that one of the things that I've been telling them is just that close to ready 
is I have a complete email sequence, a complete blog set up, and, uh, and uh, social media images they, that all go together for a 30-day email challenge that I'm going to be giving them every single month. So they get a new email challenge every single month. And it's got a whole set of graphics to go with it. It's got uh, the uh, auto posts. You can set up the auto posts and save the file and give it to someone. So oh. I've actually put it into auto posts and set it all up already. So all they have to do is get the file for me and it will, they can upload it and set it on what day they want it to start. And it will start that auto post. Um, exactly how I set it up um, okay, to their I, Facebook page. I want to. Tr I want some training on that because yeah, I've got a, a training coming on how to do oh. thirty-day email challenges. It's it's a big big training. But um, because I don't know how to save, it. I don't know how to save anything after I've set it for that month. Mm -hmm. I don't know how to. I don't know how to save it, and I would like to like recycle it like a couple months later. You know, yep. that would be great. I want some. Yeah, I'd love some training on that. Yep. I love that auto post. That auto post yep. is the bomb. It is really good. Really, really good. So I'll be um, getting that out to my team. And what I'll be doing is actually packaging those. Once my team goes through and tests them and uses them, I'll be packaging those up and actually selling them as well. So mm. um, people outside of my team can actually buy the whole package and the blog entries will be there. Um, all you do is add your own links into all the auto posts and whatever emails you send out and but the blog entries will be there already and uh, and there won't be any dates on the blog entry so they they won't see that it, it's been there for years <laughs> they'll just see that oh yeah there's day one. Oh, okay there's day two um, ahead, since you mentioned blog entry I do do have a question like on the blog mm -hmm. I haven't started using a website blog I'm still just using a blog site blog that template but at the top of the blog it has a little tab that says log in um do we could, could we like post put, uh, attach a link to that where we can log into that without logging into our build all back office or is that just up there you know for decoration that's up there um that's for if you put it in a membership area and they have to log in to be able to get to that from a membership okay. in a protected area gotcha um, those questions I have, that was about a couple of weeks back. So what I'll probably do is send you another another message because you've been busy and I can't accept you're only three people. <laughs> okay. Well, right now I feel like I'm a half a person, but <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's too funny. <laughs> um, Dominic, go ahead. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna piggyback off of Tyree here because yeah, we, we we know you've cloned yourself. There's no way you're doing everything you're doing. So there's three of you. We know it. Okay. Just admit it. Okay. But no, two questions. Uh one, will we be getting your friends and family discount on that uh, email package since we're not a part of Team Awesome? You will. Yeah, I'm not gonna and set it very I'm not gonna set the, it very expensive. Honestly, I think I'm gonna put it at like I don't know a weird number like 12.95 or something like that honestly really? yeah it's is, not there, is there is there a monthly subscription can i get a <laughs> <laughs> I, I i'm thinking about doing a monthly subscription as well so that you just pay one fee for the year or so. one fee per month and every month you get a new one um but um yeah i think the first round of sales that i'm going to do we have a we have a friend here who um, they had a son who has a um, vision problem and they're trying to get him a, 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 a dog. A, a, I can't think because I'm so tired, but an assistant dog, a, what is that called? A service, service dog? dog. Service yeah. dog. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, you guys. Mm -hmm. But um, they're very, very expensive and they did a GoFundMe, but they didn't raise enough money. So I think the first round when I do it, I will be um, fundraising for them to see if I can uh, get enough money to finish out getting their service dog. So that's probably what I'll do in the front end. So I'll do it for like twelve ninety five, and then add a donation button if anybody wants to donate more. But all of the money, even the twelve ninety five, will go towards their um, towards their dog. 
That's that is great. fantastic. Yeah. It is one. My, my second question, and I know I've pestered you about this ever since <laughs> I saw you saw you show it to us. When do you think we might see those seven day uh, PDF? the for the seven day trials oh, because you want to perfect them before I you know, release them I know. to the general it's, population that's another and one that i i y'all i over I was just curious over promised and under delivered <laughs> especially when i got the, the new <clears throat> position um but i have revisited it a couple times and we're getting closer and closer so i would say give me one more month and okay. we'll have it to where we um, can get it out to everybody and they can uh, use it for the seven day free trial. What I, what I saw, what you showed us yeah, in, really in that ambassador's meeting, what you showed us and you flipped <laughs> around and I looked at it was I fabulous. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was like, what? I want one. <laughs> that's what everybody says that's been testing it and kind of working with me on tweaking it. So yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's really good. We've got, um, did any of you guys see the Black Friday promo that we did as well? The videos and stuff? Oh man, um, Tyree's like, no. Tyree, we did, uh, we did 10 days of Black Friday where we did short 20 second videos to promote a tool in Builderall and how that tool can be used for your own Black Friday promotions, right? So we're going to do something really similar for the holidays. We're going to do uh, 12 days of Builderall. And with each one, we're going to do the exact same thing, a short video, talk about the tools and how you can use them during the holidays to for your business. So that'll be coming out. I was busy doing something similar like that myself. Um, I um, um, With my YouTube channel and Facebook page, I was doing something similar like that taking a tool and doing like um, three different ways that that tool can be used. And I would play it back on my YouTube and Facebook. And the other thing that I was doing since we don't have the boot camps anymore, I would do that time. I would, instead of doing it every day, I would do a boot camp every other day and go back and dissect and, and, and make sure oh. I'm still current. Good. You know, cause I miss our boot camps. That was phenomenal information, Chef. Yeah, I, I miss it too, actually. I miss, I've got so much building up, and I think my head's going to explode because there's no way for me to get it all out to you guys. <laughs> Let me um, share my screen, and I'll see if I can't find that uh, Black Friday thing because it was so good. I want to um, share it with you guys. So it was in the um, Builderall official, I think. And there's Builder All Official. And we'll look up uh, Black Friday. See if that pulls up anything. There it is, right there. So right here is an example of one of the posts. And so this is day four of the 10 days of Black Friday. So we talked about the magazine editor. And we talked about how you could use that in your business. And then there's a little video. So you see that wasn't wasn't a tremendous video, you know, like long drawn out or anything like that. But there was always a YouTube video they could click on to go to and find out more about that product, like the magazine editor and how they could use it for their own Black Friday promotion. So that's kind of what we're doing with the, um, the 12 days of Builderall. So we're doing it just from a holiday perspective instead of Black Friday. So that, that'll uh, start, I believe, December the 12th will get us 12 days of, of Builderall leading up to Christmas. Well, I think that's marvelous. I really do thank you and Builderall for doing that because like for me, even though there's Black Friday, that video says Black Friday, I can I know what to do to be able to use that, but at the same time can take that idea and attach that to, to each product, which is what I was doing, but you showed me an easier and shorter way. So mm -hmm. just right now I, I get the emails and I have a Shelly Turner folder folder. Mm -hmm. On my yeah, yes I do. Mm -hmm. And I, and I put them there. So what I'll do is I'll go back through those 
and I can just make a slight adjustment on the videos, but keep the same email content. Yeah. And yeah, I, I like that, Shelly. Thank you. You You're all welcome. make it so easy. <laughs> We're trying. Um, there's a, a lot to do still, but also check your emails, Tyree, for the Black Friday emails, because each of those videos, there's an email that went out and it talked about the tool and gave that YouTube video. You can take that email and reword it and use it however you want. So there's 10 tools that it talks about. So that's a pretty big deal. Well, I, I have them because uh, I do not, any, any emails I get from Bill Doll, I do not delete them. I keep everything from Bill Doll. Good. And if I get something for you from Shelly, that gets <laughs> open. Okay, Bill Doll <laughs> might not get open till the weekend, but yours get open before anything. So Yay, Shelly. <laughs> I'm going to go back and check those and, and, and reuse those. Thank you. That's fabulous. That's fabulous. All right, do you guys have any other questions or comments for me? No? Okay, well, I'm going to call it a night. I'm going to take my medicine and head to bed. Um, you, but, you were talking about the mountaintop of all though, Shelly, uh -huh. on your, on your uh, chat box. Uh -huh. So as we leave here, I'll, leave, I'll, I'll give you a mountaintop song, okay? Okay, great. <laughs> That's fabulous. Thank you. Love it. All right, you guys. Thanks, Doc. <laughs> yeah, thank you so much. You guys are awesome. I always love seeing you guys. Um, check out the replay if you need to. It's it's not a great training video. Hopefully, we'll get to do SiteBot again when it's working a little bit better. But um, thank you for being here, of course. And next week, same bat time, same bat channel. We'll do the same thing. Okay. We'll be right. there. <laughs> All right, bye, you guys. Have a great one. Bye, bye, and check your messages, Shelly. I'm gonna send you a message. All right. And uh, I pray well. you feel better. Bye, thank bye, you everybody. Bye, guys. Bye, Terry. Bye. Bye, Doc. <laughs> so